Hey, wise members, I thought I would try something a little bit different for the February administrator's message. One, because I can't believe it's already February. It kind of caught me off guard. And two, because I've been sick all week and I just didn't feel like recording a video and showing my face. So there you are. Um, I wanted to remind you that we have an election coming up. Um, not only WISE, but other common interest groups and practice specialties you might be a member of, as well as your region and society elections overall. So make sure you check out ASSP.org slash membership slash elections. And that's where you'll find all the information about who's on what ballots. And so ASSP has... Um, campaigning or uh, anti-campaigning types of rules. So you're not going to see a bunch of campaign ads like we see in our regular general elections for our country in the US. So you won't see a thing. Um, so it's up to you to go to that site and learn more about who's running for what. And so when you get your email with the ballot, that you will know what to do. And also when you get that email with the ballot, they always send you the link to the candidate information there as well. But it's nice to um, get involved and find out more information well in advance. So that site is ASSP.org slash membership slash elections. So uh, the big election that pertains to WISE is WISE Assistant Administrator. And we have two people running for that position. We have Alyssa Duncan and Camille Oaks. So you can learn more about each of those candidates at that website. There's other positions to vote for as well. So like I said, make sure you look at um, all of those different nominations that are on the several different ballots. We finally have a, a wise apparel store. I didn't know what to call it. I was going to say apparel, then I was going to say wise, and it just came out like eh. Um, <laughs> so make sure you visit the wise apparel store, and I will post that link with... Um, with this message wherever you're seeing it. And the the direct link is wise store, all one word, dot deco dash apparel dot com. And that's where you will find several wise logo items, including polo shirts in both men's and women's fits or cuts by Nike. Um, you'll also find button down shirts and a hooded sweatshirt logo, a quarter zip sweatshirt, which is pretty sweet in either navy blue or green. And then also winter hats um, and baseball hats that I actually have one of those and I love it. I loved wearing it all last summer. Uh, the uh, winter hats look pretty sweet too. So um, I just talked to some people at the ASSP office today, February 6th, and they had snow. So it is still that time of year for um, wearing these types of hats and all the warm equipment. So make sure you check that out. Again, I'll post that link with um, wherever I'm posting this message, but it's wisestore.deco, D-E-C-O, dash apparel.com. Also, um, we had an open call last month. It feels like it wasn't that long ago. So about uh, one or two weeks ago, we had our, our WISE open call where several of us from the WISE Advisory Committee talked about how the past year has gone and what we're looking forward to in the coming year. So the WISE Awards and Honors uh, Subcommittee has been hard at work um, bestowing upon several members the WISE Member of the Month designation. So that's exciting because that's a completely new recognition program that WISE, uh, the WISE Awards and Honors Committee started last year. And so at the time of the open call, there had been 10 people that had been recognized. We actually finished out a full calendar year and had 12 people recognized as WISE Member of the Month. So super exciting that that program it was launched and we saw it through. The only bummer is that in the month of January that we just finished, January 2020, there were no nominees submitted for WISE Member of the Month. So um, my plea to you is to make sure that your fellow WISE members get recognized because I know many of you are doing awesome work. And so the Member of the Month is for people that are just really um, excelling and doing a great job at their day job or in volunteer work that they do related to safety or whatever you think it is that makes them uh, honorable as member of the month. We just want to know more about our members through this recognition program. So please make sure to go to 
ASSP.org slash wise, and you can find the member of the month link right there. Remember that our wise spy from last year was Crystal Turner Moffat, and we are accepting currently, we're accepting nominations for the 2020 wise spy. Spy stands for safety professional of the year. And that link is also at ASSP.org slash wise. The awards and honors committee also put together a fabulous awards and honors opportunities document, which you can find on um, every WISE social media platform, as well as the WISE spaces within the ASSP community. So it gives you a timeline of an entire 12 months of different award opportunities that are out there. As you know, and as you've probably seen, there's several awards programs that are out there for our field that sometimes aren't super representative of the women that we know that we work with day in and day out. So make sure that when you are working with or aware of a woman in safety that's doing an excellent job, get them nominated, uh, put together the nomination packet and get their name out there. It's important. The Wise Open Call also encompassed our mentoring program and Louise Valley does an amazing job with spearheading that. And just this past Monday, it was not only um, Super Monday after the Super Bowl, but it was also Mentoring Monday. Did you know that? <laughs> um, put it on your calendar for next year. So there's several women in business or different um, business and um uh, finance types of organizations throughout the country, maybe throughout the world, that do Mentoring Month and Mentoring Monday events. So make sure to look for that in your local area. And if you don't find anything or don't find what you like, make sure to check out the WISE Mentoring Program. We're looking for people that can be mentors and looking for people that want a mentor. And also we have a college student mentoring program that will be launching soon. During the open call, Louise talked about several wise mentees and their mentors and where are they now. So you'll have to look for the replay of that webinar to find out more about who Louise profiled. We also had an update from ChapterWise from uh, Leslie Johnson and Karen LaRue, and they spoke about all the great work that different ChapterWise groups are doing throughout the country and also talked about the annual ChapterWise Awards of Excellence program. So make sure to find out more about that. You can also reach out to Karen and Leslie through asspchapterwise at gmail.com to find out more about what ChapterWise groups might be in your local area and how to get involved. Kelly Burnish is taking the lead on our WISE retreat for this year. We're still looking at uh, solidifying the location, but registration is open because PDC registration is open. So make sure when you register for the conference that you also register for any other conference events that you would like to attend, like the WISE retreat and the WISE networking event. It just makes things so much easier. And the exciting, cool thing is that this year's WISE retreat theme is when wise gathers, the world changes. And so there's been several studies out there that say when women gather together in a retreat-like setting, uh, whether it's for corporate types of retreats like what this is, or personal care types of retreats that would involve, I don't know, spa time, <laughs> yoga, uh, things like that. That's not what the WISE retreat is. Um, it's a personal development retreat meant to help you in your work and also in your daily life. But studies have found that when women do this sort of thing, that they get a bump in salary. Um, and this may be because of empowerment and ideas gathered from these events. So truly, when WISE gathers, the world changes because it changes for each of our individual WISE members or prospective members that attend the retreat. So we're really looking forward to that event and also several other events that go on during Safety 2020 or, or during the Safety Conference every year. And so Christina Roll, our Assistant Administrator, talked about those events during the WISE Open Call. So look again for the WISE Retreat when you're registering for the conference. Also for the WISE networking event, which the location is to be disclosed shortly. Um, it's going to be awesome because it always is. So you can uh, expect that and just make sure to just 
register for that networking event because you know it's going to be great. So we're looking forward to those things. Also, Wise Lounge returns. We've got a lot of fun programming coming up at the Wise Lounge this year centered around Chapter Wise and Wise Mentoring. And of course, our fashion show. We'll have a couple, maybe two, maybe three different runnings of the Wise Fashion Show. So look for that. Uh, we also still have our Wise Professional Education Grant Fund that we are looking to endow. We're at just over $23,000 and the account needs $30,000 in order to be considered endowed, which would mean that without worry that WISE would be able to give a one $1,000 scholarship each year. So um, you can tell your friends, tell your colleagues, tell your fellow chapter members to text WISE and their donation amount and name to the short code 41444, and then they will be texted a short link to complete that donation transaction. So uh, really looking forward to maybe being able to endow that grant by the end of the summer. That would be cool. Our next webinar is a collaborative effort with the healthcare practice specialty, and the topic is workplace violence prevention in healthcare, a systemic approach to a dynamic high-risk threat. And so you can find out more about that at tinyurl.com slash wisehealthcarewebinar, and you can register. Again, it's free, so uh, make sure you check that out. We also have a webinar, a collaborative webinar, with the ergonomics practice specialty coming up on March 25th. So I will make sure, again, to post all these links to all this stuff wherever you are listening to this message at. And as always, you can connect with WISE in many different ways through the ASSP community. You can go to ASSP.org slash WISE and find uh, the listing of advisory committee members and reach out to us individually if you would like. We also have a Facebook group. If you're on Facebook, you can just put ASSP Wise, all one word, in the search function and find our group that way. On LinkedIn, you can find our group by just typing in ASSP Wise Women in Safety, or excuse me, ASSP Wise Women in Safety Excellence, and you'll find our LinkedIn group. Also, if you're on Twitter, tweet, tweet, um, that Twitter is at Wise Connects, C O N N E C T S, Connects. Um, that's that was like the quick version of the open call. Um, there's a few more things uh, that I want to bring up and I didn't write notes about them. For sure, I know that Safety Focus 2021, that the call for speakers is open for that event. Also, there's a call for speakers open for a leadership conference um, put on by EHS today. So you can look that up. That occurs uh, later on this year in November. So plenty of opportunities out there to get your get your topics out there, to practice your public speaking on safety topics. Um, if you have a topic that you're passionate about, I encourage you to put together a speaking proposal for any of these nationwide events or events that go on in your region or in your direct area so that you can hone those public speaking skills. It's always a, an awesome thing to do for yourself, um, and you just never know where it's going to take you. Um, as usual, you can find me on those different WISE social media platforms, reach out to any of us on the advisory committee with any questions, and we will look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks for listening. Happy February!